Hi, my name is Linwood Fiedler, and I'd like to welcome you to what I call my office. We're standing on over 3,000 feet of glacier ice just outside of Juneau, Alaska, with 150 sled dogs all around us, just waiting to take us mushing. Over a decade ago, working with Aero Helicopters, we developed this tour, and it's become the premier event in all of Alaska. So jump in a helicopter with us, and let's go check it out. I'm Bonnie, the camp cook. I've been here for nine years. Been cooking for these dog mushes that go out and slog their way through the snow, and work really, really hard to give really, really nice tour. It's lunchtime on the glacier. We almost got squashed at first. Right One of the now. things that surprises most of our guests is that we live up here. We actually build a little tent city, little tent village, and we spend the summer up here with our animals on the glacier. Oh no, Indian, huh? <laughs> hey, Paul. Was your mouth shut? We start building the camp in April. Everything is flown up here, uh, from dog houses to tents to propane to snow machines. Even the dogs fly up, all 150 of them. It's, we have guests that this is their first time to Alaska. It's their first time in a helicopter. It's their first time on a glacier. It's their first time maybe touching snow. And it's their first time being on a dog team. And all of that we put together in one fantastic tour. This tour is a hands-on tour. It's having fun by doing. So we do start each tour with a short orientation, but then it's off to your dog team with, with your guide. You got it. Now she's all ready to go. The sled dogs we have at camp are the real McCoy. A lot of times our guests are surprised at how sleek they are and how long-legged these animals are. But these are the real deal. These are the dogs that we travel with in the winter and race with. Most of these dogs that we'll be pulling you today have actually done the Iditarod, many of them several times. We even have some young dogs that we call Iditarod wannabes, and they're the young puppies that are about six, 11 months old that are just starting their, their sled dog racing career. When you're done with your mush, what we like to do is make some time for you to have some personal one-on-one -on -one time with your team. Your guide's gonna give you some time to get to kind of know each dog personally, know their names and, and what they're about and things they've done. And this is a great time to give them some pets and you're gonna find they usually like to lick you in the face once or twice too. So right here is my station, my harness rack for my uh, chute right here, my dogs. And as you can see down the line, every chute has their own harness rack so everything's organized for musher. <laughs> Yeah, these dogs eat 30,000 pounds of dog food this summer, and you can imagine the exhaust they produce. Um, what we do, however, to keep this glacier pristine uh, is actually pick it all up and uh, put it in these barrels, and it's actually flown off the glacier. So uh, our motto is, if it's brown, it's flown down. Um, the group of people have been with me, most of them, for multiple years, some as many as nine and ten. Um, these are the highest caliber people I've been able to find. They are impassioned about sled dogs and also their lifestyle that they've chosen. Pretty neat, they're all about the same age. Um, Asher's nine and Kylie's four. Oh, that'll be, this is going to be perfect. Okay, great. Thanks for putting it together. We'll be expecting them. Which one's Emma? This one's Emma. I know. That's our Emma and our Bree. Hi, <laughs> Bree. How are you? Where are you today? Are you up on the snow? Yeah. Hey, <laughs> did you see Santa Claus on your way? That'd be pretty funny, huh, Bree? That'd be awesome. That yeah. would actually be awesome. I would ask him for something. You could ask him early before okay. Christmas yeah. even got here. I'll be right there. How you doing, Bree? Welcome here. We treat all our guests like they're long lost cousins, they're family. And it's quite common for guests actually to hug us goodbye at the end of a tour rather than just shake our hand. 
And I think it's that intimate relationship that we're able to do with our guides on a one-to-one -one basis with our guests. Yeah, our ratio to uh, musher to guide is quite small. And actually, it usually ends up being uh, the guide with a family. Um, our largest ratio would be one guide to four people. So you get a lot of attention, a lot of individual time. Um, quite frequently, we're grabbing your camera and taking pictures for you while you're driving the dog sled down the trail and helping you make a memory photo album for you to take home. You know, often people come here for the experience of mushing a dog team on a glacier, but honestly, a large part of this tour is just getting here. The flight scene portion of this tour is just awesome. You're actually going to be able to fly in the back country of the Juno ice field and see things that are only accessible by air. And for me, one of the most dramatic things that you'll see is the Taku Glacier. It's the largest glacier in the Juno ice field. It's one of the very few glaciers left in the entire world that's still advancing. It ends up to be a, an event of superlatives. People tell us, this is life changing for me. We're on a real fragile ecosystem up here on the glacier and it's important to us that when we leave, we only leave footprints in the snow behind. Thanks for letting me share my office with you, and I hope the next time we see each other, you and I are on a dog team. <laughs>